It is the 21st of the 11th, 2011. Drinking coffee tonight. And this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and start on SOT.net. We got an oil spill in Brazil, up to 2,600 barrels leaked into the Atlantic off of one of, uh, I believe, a Chevron drilling site. Uh, here's a story I want to read to you. <laughs> there is a problem with global warming. It stopped in 1998. For many years now, human-caused climate change has been viewed as a large and urgent problem. In truth, however, the biggest part of the problem is neither environmental nor scientific, but a self-created political fiasco. Consider the simple fact Drawn from the official temperature records of the Climate Research Unit at the University of East, East uh, Angola, that for years, 1998 to 2005, global average temperatures did not increase. There was actually a slight decrease, though not at the rate that differs significantly from zero. Yes, you did read that right, and also, yes, this eight-year period of temperature states uh, stasis did coincide with the society's continued power station and SUV inspired pumping of yet more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. In response to these facts, a global warming devotee will chuckily say, how silly to judge climate change over a, such a short period. Yet in the next breath, the same person will assure you that the 28 long period of warmth which has occurred between 1970 and 1998 constitutes a dangerous and man-made warm, uh, warming. Tosh, our devotee, will also pass by a curious additional fact that a period of similar warming occurred between 1918 and 1940. Well, prior to the greatest phase of world industrialization and that cooling occurred between 1940 and 1965, at precisely the time that human emissions were increasing at ever grading rate. And the story goes on. So basically, carbon tax is a scam. I've been going on and on about how carbon tax is a scam. And uh, all this science is bullshit. So uh, on to the next story. And they've got a couple old stories up. Um, basically, they got a video, Global Warming Debunked. And another one, Propaganda Alert, Biggest Ever Jump Seen in Global Warming Gases. Um, between 2009 and 2010, but they're not taking into effect all the volcanic activity that happened that year. So that's about it for them as far as, you know, global warming is a scam, as far as the, the carbon tax part of it. Over to the extinction protocol, about the only thing they have tonight is, uh, uh there's a volcano in Mexico, I'm not going to mispronounce it, a uh, popa, uh, anyway, uh, expels five kilometer ash cloud and violent explosion. Uh, three hours into the air after magma broke through a dome of lava. And the eruption continues. And then they have a lot of um, economy. The dominoes are falling. And uh, war drums, sabers rattling. Uh, the rest of that. So feel free. Over to the watchers, uh, we have a filament eruption causing a CME. A possible filament eruption in the northwest quadrant on Sunday has generated a slow-moving coronal mass ejection, CME. Um, and part of that might be heading towards Earth, so the, the auroras and all that entails. Uh, Phobos grunt probe to repurpose to fly to moon or asteroids? If communication with Russia's trouble Phobos grunt is not established by November 21st, the window for a trajectory to the Martian moon Phobos will close, experts say. But Russian space expert uh, suggests that Phobos grunt could be sent to orbit the moon or maybe even an asteroid if communication is restored at any point before the 13-ton probe re-enters Earth's atmosphere. And again, there's a tracking. Uh, I will connect the link if you want to track... Uh, the Phobos grunt. And um, my people down under New Zealand, uh, Tasmania, Australia, Arctic, Antarctic solar eclipse on November 25th. Uh, the moon will pass in front of the sun slightly off center producing a particular solar eclipse 
visible from Antarctica, Tasmania, and parts of South Africa and New Zealand. Uh, maximum covers occurs uh, about 100 miles off the coast of Antarctica, where the sun will appear to be a slender 9% crescent. So that ought to be pretty cool if you're in the southern exposures. I, knew, I, I know I do have some subs in um, New Zealand and Australia for sure. Um, over to the nuclear stuff tonight. <clears throat> now they tell us, Government Research Institute says radioactive cesium in marine snow 5 kilometers deep, or 5,000 5, meters deep, and basically um, this report, this uh, study was done in April, and um, it was just released on the 20th, and its title is Emergency or Urgent Survey of Big uh, the Big Earthquake and Disaster Reporting the Result of Emergency Survey and Future Prospect. And uh, basically they, they uh, took some samples. Um, I wanted to read the last end of this. From April 18th to the 30th, uh, they collected marine snow, a sub-millimeter particles made mostly of dead plankton and sand, off the coast of the Kamachka Peninsula, 2,000 kilometers away from Fukushima, and off the coast of uh, Agasara Islands, 1,000 kilometers away, and 5,000 meters below the, the ocean surface. The agency detected radioactive cesium both locations, and from the ratio of cesium-137 and 134 and other observations, it was determined that this was from Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant. The density of radioactive cesium is still being analyzed, eight months later. According to the agency, it has been thus confirmed that radioactive materials in the ocean are moving and spreading, not just by ocean currents, but by various other means. And finally, over to e, e News tonight. Highest yet, 1,600 millisieverts per hour detected at reactor number three. Radiation's coming from the floor. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.